carrier has arrived. Welcome everybody to 5 Guardians of David here on Additional Pylons Games. We're starting a new indie action RPG here on the channel on APG. And uh, this is 5 Guardians of David. In case you didn't figure it out by the name, this is uh, basically a, a, a retelling, an action RPG telling of some of the adventures of King David. He's a king in Israel, in ancient history, ancient times, that sort of thing. Very important in like Jewish culture, I guess. I'm not Jewish myself, but I thought that this would be a, you know, it looked really interesting. I'm a big fan of like ancient history, um, especially anything really, I would say anything like fall of Rome era and before is really interesting to me. I don't know why, I just find it incredibly engaging. So this is the nerd in me, plus the, the indie, the indie gamer in me just kind of melding. So here we are. We're going to go ahead and get into it. Let's get into the new game. In the Valley of Ella, King Saul and his army gathered for So just a couple of So just a couple of things for those of you who are uh, I don't know, nervous about playing through a game that's, you know, a biblical account. Uh, from what I've seen from the testing that I've seen, this game is very historical. In nature it's not religious in nature obviously there's like religious speak just because that fits within the characters themselves but it's very historical in nature in that it's it it lists off names and dates and places and um and very much tries to just i guess tell the history of the conflict that's there in israel um sorry um so that's one of the things that actually the other thing that really drew this game to me is that it goes on to um, to talk about the conflict, like the ancient, like 2,000 years of conflict have been going on in the Middle East. And uh, it just, this story just kind of presents it from one angle. Okay, so we got our, we got our controls here, special abilities, one through four, tab, menu, consume bread. Jeez, my wife's got us on a, uh, on a cleanse right now and consuming bread sounds like the most delicious thing I can think of, but no. All right, let's go ahead and, all right, ability, um, do I not have any abilities? Is that why it's not showing up? What is this green rock? Okay. Magic noise. Nothing is happening. And I don't have any UI. Hmm. Well. That sounds promising. But I think my UI is messed up, so let's go ahead. I'm going to cut away real quick, try restarting this, and see if that doesn't help. So, be right back. Hey, there we go. Look at that, guys. We've got ourselves an action bar on the bottom. Didn't have that last time. Not sure where that went. Not sure what happened. But let's try this cache again. Valley of Ela. Location of the David and Goliath. There you go. This valley was the location of the battle of David and Goliath. Today it is a popular... Hey, that's kind of interesting. That's kind of cool. I, I, like, th I like that. It, it's almost as if you, you're, like, watching a movie with, uh... Uh, with like the the director's comments on it, right? The director where they're like, "Oh, we decided to do this." <laughs> Saving cheap, get going. All right, it's almost like you're watching like the director's cut or something like that. So we got our basic attack here. Let's try our. Ooh, okay, big slam. Oh, follow those sheepies, those sheepies. This game already speaking to my heart. Cute little animals. Just uh, just uh, this afternoon, I saw this video of a hummingbird snoring. It was fantastic. That's right, a hummingbird snoring. It's like super high pitched. The old shepherd. Alright. What does this cash say? Huh. Shepherd's trunk. A hey, bread. There we go. Cute eat bread. On the way here, we came across some of them. We took care of... Oh, thank you, boy. But I think it will be best for the two of you to return to Abishai's mother. 
It's kind of weird that some of them have accents and some of them don't, but it is an indie game, so let's... Oh, Old Shepherd. Okay, well, we can't... Let's take characters. Ah, I, of course. So there we go. We've got bread, and we've got arm wraps that we can't use just yet. But now, I, uh, can we... Hold on. Hey, we can switch characters. That's pretty cool, too. I really like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stick with the uh, melee guy, though. Character swapping. Yes. So there we go. We already tried it. They punch the sky in anticipation. <laughs> and excitement. Um, I've always been more partial like melee characters. In any sort of game, really. Plus, the other thing is that I've, I know with a lot of, like... A lot of times with action RPGs, uh, if you allow the... Ooh, ooh. Trolls are freaking out there. If you allow the, uh... If you allow the computer to... Uh, handle archer characters... Oh, poor little sheepy. Um, a lot of times they can shoot at characters at enemies off screen. Okay, checkpoint. Stash, get some bread. Abishai's recurve bow. That sounds promising. Oh yeah, that's much better. Get him out. I'm not gonna... Alright, so that's a little pawn. Alright. Is this mom? Oh, Benaya. Ooh. Benaya's hammer. For vitality. Alright. Well, it looks the same, but better stats. Always better stats. Well, good morning. Good morning. Mother. Good morning, mother. I've been waiting for you, mm, Got that passive-aggressive thing going on here. You. you know you were supposed <laughs> to take them out at first light. I'm sorry, Mother. We ran into some problems. We had to talk to the old shepherd. We found one of his... I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. All very this is interesting. Most action RPGs that I, I know of don't have sister. as much uh, story, I guess. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, we leveled up. Level two. Nice. Um, is this one better? Stamina regen and vitality. Sure. Why not? Alright, let's... Did I miss something? Leveling up, leveling up. Alright, front kick. Huge kick in front, dealing 100 damage and knockback for 3 meters. And what did this guy get? Fire shot. Flaming arrow during 500 damage, percent damage over 10 seconds is fun. Nice. Good stuff. Get ourselves a cash. What does this one say? Ooh. So there you go. I like that it, it quotes the source material. I was I was talking about this earlier. I like that it quotes the source material, where they got it from. Imagine if they did that for like, um... Oh, let's give this guy a kick. Yeah, look at that kick. Imagine if they did that for, like, maybe Titan Quest, right? Where they said, this is, you know, this is where we get... This is where we get the... That's kind of strange. Uh, this is where we get that, you know, this idea or this, uh... I don't know. This little aspect of mythology. This is, you know... This is the epic or the poem or whatever it is that... Uh-oh. Okay, so I finally recognized it. Nathan, this narrator, he's the voice from uh, uh, the Walking Dead series, Telltale, the Telltale. He's uh, he's Lee, and the other various. There you go, knock him back. The other various uh, Telltale stuff. Let's talk about old Shep here. Anyways, that's Nathan. Figured it out. I'm not as young as I well, when your name has the word old in it, I would say so. Okay? Oh, I'm fine. Don't you worry about me. There are other soldiers raiding your Look at it. Stores, Is it Abishai or Benaya? Benaya. Benaya, the, the orange dude with the hammer. Look at him. Sassy as ever. Got that. Got his hand on his hip. Massive maul on the other hand. But on one condition. That you never tell Abishai's mother. Sure. We can do that. I think. Oh. Whoop. All right. Let's check out this cache. Gotta save the sheepies. All right. There we go. 
And of course, <laughs> what would an RPG be without some good pot smashing, huh? Can't oh, do that. can't do that. I don't know what I did. What did I do? Okay. Have you seen my sister Ariella? She was supposed to be with the flock. That sounded like a bear. Just say. All right, let's go ahead and enter the cave. That sounded like a big, big whiff. Come on, Mr. Bowman. Abishai? Abishai. Abishai. Anyone who's a, uh... I don't know. Anybody know what the name Abishai or Benaya means? Because I certainly don't. If you do, let me know in the comments below. So I'm enjoying this. It, I've heard that, from what I've read, for some of these, the early levels are a lot of, uh, I don't know. I think it's like the first couple chapters are a lot of hand-holding. Okay. Abishai was his nephew. See, there it is again. I like that, I like that reasoning, where it's kind of like, you know, again, it's not like, they're not pulling like the, I guess, the religious elements out of, out of the Bible. They're saying like, you know, this is the account that we've been given, and we can make some logical, some logical steps. I just kicked that wolf to kingdom come. Good night. <laughs> you were flying like 30 feet. And that guy bugged out. Oh, man. I'm, that's, that's some good stuff. All right, let's go ahead and check the cave, the cave of Adulam. Uh, move on, can't backtrack. Every work level works like this, however you tame it. Okay, sure, whatever. Let's go in the cave. So, uh, David Goliath is my guess, right? He looks pretty big. Um, so we need to locate Abishai's system. So again, it, I like that they, you know, they take the, the source material and then they just, you know, they they make, take it to a logical conclusion. Let's say. We know that David was a shepherd. We know that this guy is his nephew. Therefore, you know, family business kind, of, kind of, kind of thing. So, come on, grab the money, dude. All right, a little pathing issue. All right, again, a little path. There we go. There we go. Listening foot wraps, Captain Shawl. What's in this cash? Breastplate. All right. Well, my guess then, with all these references to lions, is that we're going to be fighting a lion coming up. Tribe of Judah. One of the twelve tribes. Okay. Maybe I should. For those of you who watched my Skyrim series, maybe I, I'm going to focus a little bit more on killing enemies before looting enemies. I know it's a common problem that I have. Ooh, big swing. Uh, right. Okay, so there you go. Again, they've they've kind of made up stuff. Go with the stories. That is a deep drop. Also, okay, there we go. So we've reached a checkpoint and <laughs> smash some pots. Yeah, get that money, get that bread. <laughs> swing. All right. Last cash. Huh. So this dude I, I'm playing apparently killed a killed a big lion. That's pretty cool. All right, Captain Shaw. Sure, we'll take that. All right. It looks like it <laughs> looks like it keeps us warm. Uh, increase stamina. Take that. And Abishai, what can I do with you? That is not better. I can give you these arm wraps, though. Apparently, you could not wrap them around you beforehand. Uh, anyways. Alright. I think we're good. So let's go ahead and get down the pit. Dangling rope. Actually, before we do that, we need to go back to Mr. Shaw. There we go. Ah, so I was wrong. Or I was right. 
At first I said it sounded like a, a bear. It's a lion. Clearly. Really. Shepherd boy killing a lion. Sounds a lot like his uncle, apparently. Alright. Boss fight time. Oh. Okay. That was unexpected. Can we knock him back? He is knocked back immune. He's knocking me down, though. Alright. What can we do? He's tracking with us. He's tracking with us. Give him a big swing. And knock down. But I did eat some bread beforehand. <laughs> Eating bread. Good night. Uh, stunned again. Can I do anything? Can't do anything. Alright. Uh, there is a cooldown for eating bread. There we go. Uh, that's not good. Alright. Yeah, man. Eating bread. It's, <laughs> it sounds absolutely delicious. Uh... Like I said, my wife has us on a cleanse, and only when you're trying to be healthy do things that are you normally are fine with. Like, normally bread is just bread, right? But as soon as you can't have it, as soon as you can't have it, that's that's when you want something. Um, so I leveled up again. Options, inventory, abilities. Hey, okay. So this is what I was moving. So yeah, three points. Okay, let's go ahead and we're just going to increase our regular attacks and. We'll just kind of go even on all these. It's fine. Um, and then... What? Okay, there we go. And again, we'll just go even on all these for now. And that'll be good. Thanks for watching Additional Pylons Games. Click one of the boxes to watch another video, and click the circle to subscribe and join the APG Zealots. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and share it with your friends. Comment below and I'll see you next time here on Additional Pylons Games.